Okay, Paul, thank you for joining me in this quick Q&A session. So please introduce yourself a little bit to the Chinese audience. Yes, my name is Paul Salopek, and I'm walking across the world for a project called the Out of Eden Walk, which involves walking across continents in the footsteps of the ancestors. I've been walking for the last eight years. Mm -hmm. So what's your first impression on China? I've been in China for a few months now, after getting out of quarantine, and everybody has treated me very well. Uh, I've received a lot of hospitality, a lot of curiosity. I've spoken to many people, many experts, to help plan my route. It's been very nice. I've had a very warm reception here in China. Mm -hmm. So I know you have been to many places. So what's the most unforgettable experience in your previous walk? My walk started in Africa way back in 2013, and some of the highlights have been walking out of the Rift Valley of Ethiopia with camel herders, crossing the snow-covered mountains of the Himalayas, up around 6,000 meters, crossing the big river plains of northern India into the jungles of Myanmar. It's been a great privilege to see all of these places. I know you have designed a very good map or walking road in China. So what are the ideal destinations for a walk and why this? Yeah, the, the walk through China I think is going to be unique. I've done a lot of research going back in time through history and I don't think too many people have walked this route from south to north ever before. We're talking about 6,000 kilometers, 10 provinces, stretching from the Myanmar border to the Russian border. So, do you speak Mandarin? And will you walk alone? Or is there any company? I'm trying to learn Mandarin. I've enrolled in a crash course here in Shanghai. Um, but I always walk with local people. And so I'll be walking with many Chinese walking partners, hoping to pick up Mandarin from them as well. And where can we find your storytelling? The story of the Out of Eden Walk will appear on Chinese social media, on Bilibili, Douyin, WeChat, and Weibo. And you can also find it at our storytelling website. So what are the legacies you think you're going to live after your walk in China? I think one of the great legacies of the walk in China will be a series of stories across China's immense diverse landscapes and immensely diverse cultures. And I hope to encourage followers such as yourself to get out and walk a little bit too. Thank you, Paul. So is there anything you want to say to your Chinese audience at the end of this video? Yes, come join us. Follow us on these social media handles and at the website and come help me rediscover China on foot. Thank you, Paul.